Hi guys, today's video is a product review on Wet n Wild and I just wanted to show a bunch of their products and what I thought of them. Uh, mostly I think they're really great, but there's a couple of weird ones in the line. So um, first I have six of these lipsticks and these are I think a dollar a piece. Um, they are really pigmented. I'm trying to like see what the line of the lipsticks is. They're just lipsticks. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you. Um, let's do it on the back of my room. What'll be easiest right here. Okay. This one is called just peachy. I have cherry picking. This one is so super pigmented. Awesome. Um, this one is called Mochalicious. These are very dark though, like, and mostly matte, but they're honestly, they have a little bit of gloss to them. All right. This one is called Purdy Persimmon, and that's P-U-R-T-Y, okay? I didn't just pronounce that wrong on purpose. Like, look at how pigmented those are. This one is Bear It All. I think as far as wearable, that's probably one of the most wearable ones. I didn't realize how hard it was to make swatches like this. And this is the darkest one. This is called Cherry Bomb. So those are those pigmented. Aren't they pigmented? I find that the light colors are really light, but the dark colors are really dark too. So I don't know if I just picked lousy shades, but there you have it. The quality is pretty good though. Um, let's see. I will put on the orange one so you can see how pigmented they are. Like they are really bright. So I'm gonna put on a different color on the top. I know I'll look crazy, but that's okay. And there is another one. So they are super duper pigmented. The reason I'm not wearing makeup right now is because I wanted to be able to swatch this stuff for you. So cherry picking and pretty persimmon. And let's get rid of that so I don't look like a crazy person. All right, next I'm gonna do another lipstick. This is um, another great product. Now, I know I have a second one of these, and I don't know where it is, but um, these are the Wet n Wild Mega Lip Colors. Oh, I think I wore it recently, and so it's not in here. The other one I have is like a coral, but this one is called Ring Around the Rosy. I don't know why they call it that, because this is brown, like, but these are the um, Mega mega lip colors and they're SPF 15 so they're pretty cool but there's the other one and that one's a pretty cool quality like I think it's really moisturizing which is kind of surprising for drugstore lipstick and here is the worst one this is the the one that I would be like what were you thinking it's wet and wild mega last liquid lip color and this is I can't I can bear it is the name of the shade look at this lipstick okay it's got like a Kind of a doe foot applicator, but it's kind of longer than the average one. All right, you ready? This is so yucky. Like it tastes kind of weird. I know I don't have any like face product on, so the outside of my lips is really ready, but. Okay, I have to admit it's not coming off half bad in the lighting. Give it a second. All right, I'm gonna talk about another product and we're gonna come back to this and I'll show you why. All right, so let's talk about my highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder. And it's a quad, looks like that. And I really like these because they are super pigmented. Um, yet again, I'm going to look crazy. It's okay, I'll take a shower tonight, it's fine. So this is the lightest gold color. This is the Catwalk Pink um, Quad. I really like this rosy color, but it's, it doesn't have a whole lot of pigment, the second shade. Like, I mean, you can't even really see it. It's that little, like nothing. This third shade though is super pretty. I wanna use it as a blush. It's more like a rosy peach kind of shade. But like I said, they're not the best pigmented, but the highlighter ones are gorgeous. And this is the last shade. They're not named individually that I know of, but um, that one's really pretty. See the glitter? So the highlighter, the pinkish shade, the corally shade, and then a bronzy gold glitter. 
So that one's really nice. Actually, for a dollar or two dollars, whatever it is, I think it's a really good price. Okay, check out this lipstick. Mm-hmm, 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 hmm? Mm, it is so sticky. Can you tell how gross that was? One more time for effect. Like, I wasn't being dramatic. Seriously, that's how dry these are. Like, I don't even want it on for the rest of the video. All right. Oh, my gosh. And look how hard it is to get off. Like, I took a, the makeup removing wipe. It's not going anywhere. Like, yuck. Like, I can't even... It won't even come off. Okay, I understand the idea of, like, making a long-lasting lip color. But this is disgusting. Like, worst product... It's supposed to last. I understand it needs to be a little drier, but like, oh my gosh, that's disgusting. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Like, I won't even give that away. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Next two products are lip liners. This is Chestnut and Brandywine. They look super dark on camera, but um, this is Brandywine. I guess they are kind of dark. But it's actually a purple. It's hard to tell. And this one is chestnut, so it's more of a reddish purple. But um, I like these because I use them for my eyes too. I don't really care that they're lip liners. <laughs> I don't follow the rules. And then I want to talk about the seven eyeliners that I have. So I have black, black, dark brown, mink brown, purple, white, taupe, and deep blue. And I've been using these for years. I just was telling my boyfriend how I didn't even realize, like, I was never going to do this tutorial or a review or anything. Like, that wasn't the plan. I was never, like, stocking up to do a review. These are sometimes free. You can get a coupon in the paper for, like, a dollar off. And then they're, like, actually only 78 cents or something. And, um, so, sorry, the puppy is eating my laptop charger. So, let's not do that. How about that? Okay, um, and I'm swatching these on my arm, but um, they have a dollar off coupon, so they actually like pay me to take these on. Like, I get seven cents off one of my other things in my cart, so. Um, I'm doing them oh. on my arm. Hey! Excuse you. Why don't you say hi? Alright, she's running away. I have two more to swatch, guys, and then I'm going to show you the colors. I think that I have a few standouts from this line that are just like stunning, and the rest are okay. Alright, so... Mink brown, eh, that's this last one here, didn't really do anything for me. Um, the white though is really creamy, really pigmented, I really enjoy that one. So these are the two lip liners. The navy is really pretty too. Mink brown on the end, eh, this is taupe. If you're a taupe person, maybe, you could fill in your brows with it if you're blonde or um, really light haired or something. I could probably even use it, let's see, taupe. Hey, what do you know? I just found an eye, eyebrow filler in her. Anyway, I think that these don't have the best like lasting power, but for the price, they're amazing. Um, I think that the purple ugh, is just stunning. Like, I love it. I'm making it bigger so you can tell. Like, if you want a pop of color on the lower lash line or something, these are so easy. And then honestly, if you don't use it again, it's not a big investment. So. That is my opinion. There is, there is one major flop, and that is these Mega Last lip glosses. Um, yuck. But the rest of the line is really great. I think that the darks are really dark, and the lights are really light. So uh, do your best to find a middle tone shade. So now that I look kind of crazy, I'm going to go now. Leave your comments and questions below, or let me know if you have any Wet n Wild products that you love. I've heard a lot of great things about the eyeshadow quads. I have so many MAC eyeshadows, though, that I haven't even bought any. But let me know if you have any favorites. I'd love to try them. Thanks. Bye.